now, bless now. Don't forget the rest now. There's King of the Pit TV signing in. I've had a recommendation to check this tune out, yeah. Commented because I did a reaction to my first time listening properly to Sodom and Creator. Rock on. Says, you've been listening to so much German thrash, yeah? you got to check out Destruction, thrash till death. Now, I'll give you a bit of background. I've heard Destruction before, and I think they're underrated from what I'm aware, as far as in metal circles. I don't know any metalhead who talks about Destruction. But from what I have heard, literally, these band, this band is incredibly technical and brilliant virtuoso thrash metal. Now... I didn't listen to this record. I listened to another album and this was like, man, this was like six, seven, eight years ago. I think I was listening to music on an iPod, um, 128 gig iPod classic. Yes. If, if any of you used to have an iPod, l let me know in the comments below. What were you jamming out to? What iPod did you have? The nano, the classic jeez i still wish i had one right now to be fair but it'd just take up space in my pocket so this is thrash till death can we throw the horns up people am i thrashing till death there's only one way to find out this is destruction shout out to the individual who rec uh, recommended this i'd say your name but i feel i would mispronounce it so i'm not gonna disrespect you in that manner Peace. The vocals are really good. I'll start off by saying, right, this might be King of the Pit TV, but in your face songs about metal, I'm not a fan of, right? Maybe back in the day, but not nowadays. The vocals are sick. I like the vocal style. Um, the riff. I mean, we've all heard this riff in Thrash Metal before, but the production value and the tightness of it is brilliant. Just triplets in it, gallops. Dun, 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 dun. Little divey B at the start. It's like, A for eight, bro, why fix it, people? Also very heavy. Oh, twice as heavy when it comes in the second time around after you have that little melodic section and it kicked back in there that was that was tight what are you doing are you circle pitting or push pit into this riff what are you doing you gotta be push pitting yo i'll tell you what right it kind of sucks because Metal bands like this, they're incredible, right? They're so good. But these are metal bands. If you took a metal band like this, yeah, and you just took the exact same sound, exact same imagery, and just placed this band into the hardcore community, playing hardcore shows, not only would they bloody take over due to how incredible the craft is, as long as they're not like dodgy people, of course, like you need to integrate somewhat, but... To be fair, I'd say you'd need to integrate more into hardcore than you do in metal music because there's less of an emphasis on being a, you know, a great musician and so forth. But the Moshers would love this band. Come on now, people. Metalheads, start a sweet thrash band, get some good production and start playing to hardcore kids and you'll blow up faster than you would doing metal, trust me.
Where are we going? Fresh to death. Dun dun dun. Heavy chugs. Quite a bizarre sounding riff. Are they slides? Dun dun dun. Dun dun Or is it a pedal of sorts? Or are they bends? Are they bends? They might be pre bends, you know what I mean? Boom, boom. Sorry to the people like guitarists, my apologies. That's, that's how I think. Sounds like Angel of Death, doesn't it? Fresh till death. Angel of Death. Is that intentional? Oh, is this band subconsciously just ripped off Angel of Death? <laughs> Fresh till death. Come on now. Bro, that is the bloody Angel of Death riff, isn't it? Just in a different key, I think. Just not tuned half a step down like Slayer did. Yo, have they intentionally ripped off Angel of Death? Drummer's just jamming out. I like the little... Um, He's just riding the uh, high end there. I don't know what symbol it is. A bell or something. Bell section of one of the symbols. I'm not the biggest fan of this particular section. But I do like the way it creates a contrast between this and the other riffs. Because it just sort of accents and really emphasises the heaviness when it kicks back into whichever comes next. It sounds like a lot of the vocal line has been doubled up. Um, you know, initially at the start, I found it hard to pick out the person's actual vocal and the vocal style they're going for because it seemed like there was a lot going on. Quite a few gang chants and so forth in this section as well. Like quite a distorted vocal. I can't imagine this is an organic vocal, like what he can produce with his voice normally. Obviously within reason he can do, but I think there's a bit of production, a bit of studio magic. Cute little two chord riff there, rhythm guitar, back to basics. I thought it was going to continue ascending, that would be pretty cool. Just all the way to the top, that would be sick. Just a mindless shred solo, no comments to be had. Angel of Death! Angel of Death! They're really drilling the hook so you can remember that song, right? That was Fresh Till Death, Destruction, did I enjoy it? Yeah, I thought it was pretty good. 
I enjoyed it purely for the Angel of Death uh, rip-off riff because the production really made it pop. It was um, pretty heavy. Mm. The actual chorus, I didn't enjoy too much, nor did I the lyrical content. Uh, you know, it's just sort of cheesy, <sighs> fresh lyrical. But, yeah, it was it was pretty good. It was pretty good. It was enjoyable. Um, I do like the band. I like the frontman's vocals. I think his vocal style's really cool. Yeah, and that's me signing out. That was Des at King of the Pit TV. I want to appreciate the individual who recommended this. It is appreciated. Thank you for chiming in on such an early uh, stage of this channel. That's me signing out. Thank you very much, people. One love.